Let's see. Uh, thank you. Uh, glad you guys are joining us. Who's in here right now? There's a, t- t- a Tony from Ireland's here again. It's fantastic. Hello, Chicago. Hello, Texas. Hello, Florida. Hello, London. Um, yeah, I've got uh, people in here from uh, Scotland and um, everywhere. The free internet reigns. So, uh, hello to everyone watching on a VPN in China and Russia right now. And um, to anybody in Ukraine that's watching, uh, get off your phone and get to safety. I, I'm kidding. If you are if you can actually get any kind of a signal and you're looking to see if uh, we over here still give a shit, we do. <laughs> don't, don't take Tucker Carlson as an indication of how anyone over here thinks. Ever. They, I mean, there's literally... N- no one in the United States uh, that isn't, you know, on his staff and has to shares the thoughts or ideas of the Swanson frozen dinner air. So, hi. Uh, yeah, there you are. Uh, St. Louis, Ontario, Canada, Vancouver Island, Fanta- Australia, uh, Pennsylvania, Colorado. It's it's a good time. Um, uh, people are popping in. California, everybody's. Spain, wonderful. Great to see you guys. It's lovely to have you here for this uh, wonderful gathering of craziness that we have. Now, I have, again, another episode of having been away for a week. Too much stuff to cover. So I'm going to jump right in because Trump was on Varney this afternoon, um, which sounds like um, he's been huffing paint varnish, which may be true, uh, judging from what apparently he said on this. Now, I have been avoiding watching this all day, considering the amount of comedy gold that's probably buried in this ridiculousness. And I've seen like one quote people keep throwing up that I've been kind of stiff arming, not reading because I want to wait till it shows up for real in my ear holes. But I'm guessing that in their focus on the ridiculousness of one particular thing in it, they are missing out on the the rest of it, which is completely ridiculous. Again, that's one of the reasons why I do long form videos on here. Why I do the whole thing is because a lot of times the news will go, do you believe he said something so incendiary? And you're like, yeah, but he also said a bunch of numbskull gibberish, which in context would make you look at what he said that was incendiary and go, oh, this is just blather. He was blathering again, right? Whereas if it's like, oh my God, it must have been just a, 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 a gish gallop. Of, of dangerous and provocative things that could bring about World War Nine, right? In reality, it's like, no, anybody who would watch the first two minutes was like, this man's a nutcase. He's obviously huffing paint, and uh, we can move on. So, <clears throat> here we go. Uh, he's He's got a new uh, part of the Trump media group. It'll be huffing paint post. Will be, <laughs> it's the main news source that everyone goes to. I'm curious, you're curious, what, what, what did he say to to uh, uh, Phil Varnish, what was his name? Varney and, 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 and Corporation. This is on Fox Business, by the way. So it's all business. Get used to the idea. Come on. He's available. Oh, He's on- hold on. Hold on. He's available. He's on the phone. He's got nothing better to do. He's with me. I look like the Equalizer stunt double from the original series. And yet, my ass has done nothing but polish this chair for years. Oh, and he joins us now. Mr. President, thanks very much for being on the show this morning. Hello, Stuart. I understand that over the weekend at a rally in Florida, you said that it was your person. Why is the audio why is the audio off on this thing? What is happening? Is it because of this closed caption? Does it slow it down? Personality that stopped Putin invading during your Oh right. He said it was his personality that stopped Putin from invading. Sure. You mean his personality trait of sacrificing others to get what he wants in life? Very possible. Presidency. You want to explain that? Well, that's very... Uh, well, what I meant to say. Interesting. We start off with that one because uh, if you remember when I was running in 2016, they all said Trump will get us into a war. Right. It's his personality. He's going to get us. And actually, now they say it was my personality that kept us. It's it's a it's a it was his personality that kept us in Afghanistan the entire time. Yes, it was it was his personality that led up to this war by allowing these assholes to feel like they could start their plan for the takeover for season two of the Trump presidency when they get a, if they get picked up 
we'll just walk right in. We won't even have to. All right. The war. So I think it was, uh, you know, we had a great four years, and uh, it shouldn't have happened what happened, and but it did with the election, and now we have people running it. This, okay. what's gone on with Ukraine, should never have happened, Stuart. Well, President Biden. Yes, it should have never happened, and it never would have happened, and it couldn't have happened, and we should have left Afghanistan all beautiful and nice, and yet we didn't because we didn't, and then we got it. It would never happen. Goes to Poland on Friday of this week, frontline NATO state. What should he do? Yes, yes. Here it goes. This is this is good. Tell us the plan. How should it work out? Details, details, details. Thanks, thanks, Stu. Well, it's very late. The cards are. Delayed and the cards are out, and he's got a bad hand. He's given himself a very bad hand. He had a very strong hand. <laughs> he, he, he dealt himself a bad hand. The cards are out. The cards are down. The cards are up. The cards are, uh, he's being a card. He's acting a card right now. He's, uh, he's doing card tricks. There's no, all right. Where it all started, the strongest. And it should have never started. He had the, he had this, he had the strongest, before the, Poker game even started. He had the best hand. And now he's got a terrible hand because he dealt it to himself. But the game should have never started. So why are these cards even on the table? That's the question. Would have never, ever started if I were president. I can tell you that with 100% certainty. This is horrible. Well, if, yeah, you can say that with 100% certainty that the words are going to come out of your mouth. And the fact that you were going to give Ukraine to Vladimir Putin. You were just like, here you go. I'll stiff arm NATO. They, I'll, I'll drag our feet leading up to it. Even if Congress wants to do it, any goods, you know, that Congress, if they immediately went, what the fuck? And started so, like, we must send arms. And they pass a bill. I, I sign it, but I wouldn't give the actual order to send it till midnight on the 30th of the last month before the new budget comes out. This is a human tragedy. What's going on. Uh, he's now going with a very weak hand, and he is not somebody that really mixes it up. He sits there, and everyone tells him what to do and what they're doing, and he doesn't mix it up. He he doesn't. He does look. It's very sad to watch. I've watched it. Yes, it's it, it's true. Uh, Biden plays poker with his cards facing himself, uh, and and of course he doesn't mix it up. He doesn't just play fifty-two card pickup with politics the way Trump would. What? And these other countries are taking over and they're leading and we're supposed to be the one that's leading. And they're uh, taking advantage of us like they have. Even our allies, they take advantage of us on NATO. They take advantage of us on just about everything they can and in particular on trade. I mean, on top of everything else, they take advantage of us on trade and they're really tough. All right. All right. You're, you're starting to lose even Stu at this point. Nobody knows what the fuck you're talking about. <laughs> they do so much. I mean, obviously... They screwed up the banks. Now Deutsche Bank, I can't get a loan. I mean, I could, but they don't have any money because where they got it from is closed. And they take advantage of us. They fuck you at the drive-thru. Him, what they want to do, not what we want to do. So it's should, pretty sad to watch. Th there's this discussion about whether we should send jets, MiG jets, to help the Ukrainian right. Air mm. Force. Would you send in that kind of help? Yeah, so there we go. This is real question. Thanks, Stu. He got a little... He got a little uh, diverted. He went off into a little cul-de-sac for a moment. He got he got stuck in the record groove from some of the rally speeches. But thanks, Stu, for keeping him on track. Planes. I can't wait to hear about it. You can't wait to hear about it. What's the deal? Are there going to be planes? Would you send planes to Ukraine for a no-fly zone? Let's hear it. Well, maybe even more. To be honest with you, and I'm, like, I'm the like one what, that would, Mr. Would have stayed out. Like I'm the one that yes, like more more than planes. Maybe maybe I would send more than planes. And what what would that be? Stay out. Let, let me just explain that Putin is saying yeah. things like, "Don't you dare send anything in." In the meantime, he's killing thousands and thousands of people. Is that what he's saying? Is it, don't you dare send anything in? Oh, don't you go there, girlfriend. Is he wagging a finger like this? Putin's saying things like, talk to the hand, because uh, the wrist won't hear it. He, uh... So he's acting like we're an aggressor. If we send in some old 44-year-old plane that probably gets shot out of the sky pretty quickly, and he's acting... Yeah, because, yeah, cause, I mean, you try to bank in those things, and they bank for shit. You know what I mean? And I know what 
Trust me, I know what flying around in a shitty old plane that hasn't been serviced in a long time looks like. Honest to God. Um, I think, hold on one second. We have to uh, make sure that the f I have ordered food. Oh, there they are. Front door. Excellent. Come on. So give me, give me, let me look at it. I actually have the food there. Hold on. I think so. Yeah, so like I did, like I first started doing it. So like my natural instinct was, okay, I'm gonna knock out these heavy apartments first. Oh nope. Took me three hours. We're watching the Amazon guy talking to someone. Um. <laughs> uh, let's see. Package at the door. Whoops. <laughs> this is a uh, package, not food. Hmm. Quit it. Why would it say knit? All right. I'm very well knit. I'm from a family that's very well knit. Knit, not not. All right, here we go. <laughs> the Amazon guy was just like talking on his on his Bluetooth. Like we were terrible people if we do that. But he's killing tens of thousands of people, far more than they're reporting. You don't knock down those buildings and blow up those buildings and they say two people were injured slightly. And thousands of people are being killed. And when he says, don't you dare do that, and we all say, oh, he said don't do it. We don't want to start. The oh, that's, oh, he said don't do that, so we don't want to do that. Oh, is that how, is that how he, how the, all right. Look, I recognize who he hired for these jobs when he was in office. But does he, is, is that how, are we getting a picture into how the Trump, uh, uh, like, national security briefings went? He's saying, oh, no, better not. And you're saying, oh, oh, we, uh, oh we better not. Oh, if it, oh, it's dangerous, I must say. And yet, perhaps it isn't. You know, um, is that. What he's doing is a human tragedy. There's not been anything like this, in a sense, maybe ever, but certainly since World War II, when you look. In a sense, maybe ever. <laughs> Motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. In a sense. Oh, we had 666 in the chat room. Wonderful. Uh, feel free to support the show with a $6.66 uh, super chat, if you would. We've had 666 people. We hit once we hit that point in the chat. Once we get to a uh, thousand, uh, have at it. But uh, th if you want to help out, it's a good way to do it. You're watching Hal Sparks Mega Worldwide. <laughs> Fucking hell. At it, but there's never been anything like this. So what do you do now? You you you, you said you'd maybe. Hmm. What was that? The fuck? What, why, why are you just to take the graphic off the screen with you, Stu? Or did you guys have to pre-tape this fucking interview and chop around it because you don't trust that he won't bring up uh, Dominion or some shit and get you sued, right? I'm thinking this is what we got going on. It's probably that way. Hold on. Beg your pardon. Uh, I got... I'm... You need somebody here to understand. More than just send in the MiG jets, all right? What well, more? what I yeah. would do is I would do... Yes, uh, what more? What more? Tell me not son that a bigger jet gonna go in, but then the more happen. I know you say you're not send a jet, and then when it says send a jet, you say, well, you're a bad man, you do the bad stuff, but we gotta say bad stuff. Oh, and then the Putin said... I'm going to do the bad stuff if you do the bad stuff. And we say, well, if you do the bad stuff, we're going to do more bad stuff. And that about the bad stuff and no good stuff. How are going to do? I'm here to help you. Um, I'm going to translate what he's going to say. Because it may be hard for grown up understand what I'm actually saying. He done not know. How are you supposed to go, oh, like a parent not don't go get it. They don't get it. They know how they're going to. So is it going to planes or not planes? Uh, we would do, we have tremendous military capability. Ow! Why make a big slicing noise? 
It's like this show is being edited in a deli on one of those big m baloney machines. Oh, that's what it is. That makes sense all of a sudden. It is a big baloney machine. I figured it out again. Ability. And what we can do without planes, to be honest with you, without 44-year-old mm -hmm. jets, what we can do is... No, we don't want 44-year-old jets. There's nobody playing for the Jets right now that's over 36 years old. At 44, if you're not a coach, you're just an injury factory. Enormous. And we should be doing it. And we should be yeah. helping them yeah. to survive. Help. And they're doing help an amazing to survive. job. But because you gotta, you gotta survive the baloney machine. The baloney machine with Stuart Barney today. Mm -hmm. No, I was the one that sent in the javelins. I mean, everyone refuses to acknowledge that, and I took a lot of heat. And uh, I said, "Well, javelin very hot when you if it touches the back of it after it go boom, it's very hot." Javelin, but of course, the Congress. But we have three part of government. We have the got president, we got the Senate and the House, and we've got the Scotus, Scofus. And the Scofus doesn't do nothing. And uh, the Congress has said, send the javelins. Take the money, send the javelin, and that, so that, which is like a spiel, but got, that blows the snot out of things. And so Congress said, send the javelins. And Trump said, I'm not going to send the javelins unless you give me dirty pictures of, of um, that guy's kid, which is weird to say. And then uh, the guy say, oh, I don't have any dirty pictures of that guy's kids. He goes, but give me a dirty picture of that guy's kid or you don't get the javelins go boom. And, uh, and the guy said, but I don't have. And then it dragged on. The conversation went on so long that eventually they just go, oh, oh I got to give you the javelins or people going to know I didn't give you the javelins. And very... Openly and glowingly, and they said uh, Obama sent blankets and Trump sent javelins. Well, nobody knew how well those javelins would do and how well they're, but those javelins. Well, um, well, yeah, they did. That's why they wanted them. To they work before, they'll probably work again. Also, nothing wrong with sending blankets. I have a blanket. It's the same blanket I've had for a very long time, my whole life. It smells a little bit like pee. But it's mine. And I can only take a nap if I have a. It's a, um, yeah. My, my mom nicknamed it Linus. I don't know what that means. So that's a thing. And the, the Obama sent, the, uh, sent, sent uh, blankets and pillows because the bad man was was in charge of Ukraine. He was the boss of Ukraine when the, that was happening. And then when he was in the president house, the good man was the president of Ukraine. So you're supposed to send the javelins. Knocked out all the tanks. Those were sent by me. And we sent them in large numbers too. I didn't even realize at the time. That was well, all gone. They had to send them more. That wasn't enough. And they didn't send them. You send them money to buy the thing. They don't buy them from, they're not a javelin factory. I sent them. I said, man, you know, that's a lot of stuff we're sending, but let's do it. Let them have well, a chance. <laughs> that, you don't seem happy about the stuff you were going to send. Really? You like look at the list and went, man, that's just a bunch of stuff. What? I sent them. I said, man, you know, that's a lot of stuff we're sending, but let's do it. Let them have well, a chance. Yeah, whatever. Let him do it. That seems like a lot of stuff. I'll send it anyways. I don't want to send. I don't think they should have it. But uh, let's send it to anime. Okay? Who would have thought that they would have been so powerful the way they protected that? Yeah, it's weird. Not, I mean, obviously, the military that uses them, the country that used them before, the people that designed them, the people in the tanks that have been hit by them, the target practice people who saw them like all those people kind of know but who would have thought that the thing they wanted more than anything else would actually work that's weird but they need other kinds of help 
And one thing I do rapidly is I get the oil flowing, because if you reduce the price of oil significantly, that war is going to end. That war is going to end. You know the... Oh, he mean get the American oil flowing. So what he would do is be, if he were then, if he was the boss of government right now in America, he would use his job as the boss of government to go to the boss of businesses and, and say, if you don't do more business, I'm going to do more government. And they'd say, you can't do that. And he'd go, yeah, you're right. And then he'd go home. Question, what you need for war is three things, money, money, and money. And if you... Well, that's uh, that, uh, money, 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 money. That's the song that I used to play. Money, 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 money. That's one money, 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 money. That's four. You, I, I'm honestly, do you need a lot? I'm just saying, if this war was two groups of people throwing money at each other, it would either end immediately or go on forever. <laughs> Bring down the price of oil and you could knock the hell out of the price. I had it down to $1.71 at one point. To ga- In fact, it was so low that I was afraid we were going to lose our oil. Oh, hold on. Oil was $1.70 a, a gallon? To $1.71 at one point. To ga- In fact, it was so low that I was afraid we were going to lose our oil company. Did I own this fella work on a business show? I don't. He doesn't look like he believes that. The oil was not a dollar. I don't know. I never bought oil in, by the gallon before. Just milk and lemonade. And sometimes grandma get a uh, tea, but that tastes like dirt. Uh, <laughs> well, you got to get that oil down, and if you get the oil down. That war is going to end. But let me... Yes, well, so, by the way, if you get it that far down, everything going to go end. If the price so low that the American business can't make money, then the oil company just go away. How do that? I ask you again on what extra military help you would give to the Ukraine. Yeah, I asked him, I asked him again, because honest to God, I had totally forgotten the original question. I'm seriously dizzy. You say you want to do more than just the MiG jets or the javelins. Yes. What, what more? Well, I think the drones are just as effective as anything nowadays. I mean, they make drones today. We make, we have drones that are just as effective as just about anything in the air, anything you can do in the air. And you can do drones, plus they give back tremendous amounts of information. And the information lead. Yeah, that's, yeah, information drones. And remember, information and money. I know all about Magoo. Oh, yes. Everybody asks about Magoo. Yeah, that's where it is. Missiles right to whatever the hell target they are. And you don't have to be from Ukraine, so therefore you're being neutral. Yeah, you don't have to shoot a drone from... Ukraine, I mean, you fly a drone, you don't shoot a drone. Drone's not a missile. Drone shoots a missile. And then if you fly them from outside the country, then you're shooting a missile that you flew in from. It's the same thing an airplane. You got to give them a drone, that then they do it. Then they can fly and then they do the thing. So ridiculous. Look, Stuart, when he goes in and he... Listen, Stuart, it's terrible. Look, he the pres- Biden going to Poland. Did not good. Thousands of people. Are we going to just sit by and watch? This country will be, in 100 years from now, they'll be talking about what a travesty, what a horrible thing this is. We can't, we can't let that, just on a human basis, <laughs> we can't let that happen. And then he says we're... That's right. Wait, I mean, if society exists and we all don't live in nuclear wasteland, we're going to be talking about this. And if if we do ratchet it up and have a bit, get everybody in and then the bomber fly, then it, we won't be talking about this in 100 years. 
will be singing songs and making cave paintings of it. Trying to explain to everybody where all the engines went and why we all have to eat nothing but seagulls. That they're a nuclear power, but we're a greater nuclear power. I hated to do it. That then no okay, once you have like four nuclear bomb, anything past that, it everybody dead. And we have like they got like we've got like four thousand and they got like three thousand and then all of them go and then we we all live on a giant charcoal briquette. But I rebuilt our nuclear capability like nobody has ever thought even. Yeah, that's so much better now. The nuclear bomb so much better now. Our nuclear bomb, their nuclear bomb look like poo. And they fly, they're rickety. And they, I mean, they still destroy everything when they land. But they look terrible while they're doing it. Ours are all shiny. And they have a big smiley face on them. And like pictures of uh, of like Dory and Nemo, and they just whiz, and they don't even make any noise. And when they land, they kill everybody. I mean, ultimately, what they look like at the end, it don't matter whether they shiny or not. They still blow up everybody. Possible two and a half trillion dollars in our military. And a big chunk of it went to nuclear and redoing it. We had 45-year-old and 50-year-old weapons that we didn't even know if they worked. Yeah, it, who knows? I mean, you'd have to fire them to find out. Just send the bomb out over there. File and forget. I'll forget if it works at all. Don't know. But out will fall the radiation and burn you to a crisp. Okay. Now we have brand new stuff that's immensely powerful and hope to God. Yeah, they're great. They have, they're like 4K and they have like downloadable games on them and they could do all this stuff. Of course, when they land, they blow up everybody, everybody die. But they look really cool. Never have to use it because right. it would be, that would be the tragedy of all tragedies. Now, I don't, I must, I know, look, sometimes when I don't remember to flush and I use my, I put the diaper in the toilet and then I flush it and I don't remember you're not supposed to flush. Grandpa gets very mad at me. He gets very upset. And Stuart looked like he upset the same way that, that, that Donald took his diaper and put it and flushed, the, flushed his diaper in the toilet. But I don't know that he wanted to hear that what your plan was, oh my gosh, nukes all shiny. If we didn't have it, we couldn't talk. But I listened to him constantly using the N-word. That's the N-word. And he's constantly... Oh, that not... No, thank you. He means nuclear. ...using it, the nuclear word, and we never talk, of, we say, oh, he's a nuclear power. But we're a greater nuclear power. We have the greatest submarines in the world, most powerful machines ever built. Most powerful, right. and they built... Got yeah, I don't, I honestly, I don't think that's what he's asking you. I think what he means, the airplanes, the soldiers, the guns, the bombs, or anti minefield device so the little kids like me don't walk along and go, why is that orange and shiny? Pick it up, blow their face off. That's the kind of thing. Not, we have nukes and they have nukes, so we should just... That's terrible. Under me, most powerful machines ever built, and nobody knows where they are. And you should say, look, you if you mention that word one more... Nobody, nobody know. You forgot where they are? You forgot, did you misplace something? It's a very dangerous thing to misplace. Nobody knows where they are.
Well, they know where theirs are, and we know where ours are, so we're bad. Who cares where they are? It's where they land that matters, you crazy, crazy man. This, this is the kind of talk somebody uses when they're trying to get me into a van with ice cream. No. Bad. Run away, jump a fence, go home, shut the door. Time. We're going to send them over and we'll be coasting back and forth, up and down your coast. You can't let this tragedy continue. You okay. can't let these... Co coast? What are you talking about? Coasting up and down the coast? You mean with like nuclear submarines we're going to fire off the... Hey, dummy, the, he just lost his yacht. He's not coasting anywhere. What is this? Why? What? What has happened? I thought grown-ups ran the world. This is crazy pain. These thousands of people die. It's going to be hundreds of thousands and maybe millions of people by the time it ends. I don't like this man. He's not a good person. Excuse me. I would like to grow up and learn to play piano at some point when my fingers get big enough to stretch out and touch all the keys. Well, let, let me turn to China. China has a deal with Russia. They'll help you. Oh, this. Oh, yeah. Good idea, Stuart. Change the subject to China because then we'll get a stable, logical, smart view of the world from this man. Each other during this war. Yeah. Yeah. Um, President Biden held this two hour phone call with Xi Jinping. We haven't got a transcript. We don't know what threats were on the table, but we presume. I think I do. Oh, I go think ahead. That Tell us. We oh, he knows. He raised, you're supposed to raise your hand. Raise your hand when you go. I'm sure this will be the smartest thing he ever said in ever. Let's see it. Threatened by China. You know, I heard that he said, you know, he read a line that they gave to him about the repercussions. He read, they gave him a line and he read it. She's very. I, I, I don't know that he write it. Biden just said what he said. You don't, you guy on TV. All right, I'm coming back because an adult needs to be here for this. And that's, we can't subject baby Hal to this level of offense. It's just wrong. They gave him a line. They, again, do you ever see a billionaire so worried about every friggin' dime? Have you ever seen uh, a guy, uh, fucking hell. This is just projection from when he used to be on The Apprentice. Like, it's very, it's abundantly true that he, you know, didn't fire anybody on The Apprentice. He didn't make any of the decisions. The producers did. This is just garbage. But, they, like, he gave him a line, right? Right. Okay, I dealt with all of them. I know them all. I know them better than I know you, Stuart. And I know you and I like you. <laughs> um... That's, uh, all right, uh, again, I know them better than I know you, Stuart. <laughs> but that means he doesn't know Stuart Varney at all. At all. Fucking at all. Because this asshole actually thinks he knows what Xi Jinping thinks. Or Vladimir Putin thinks. Good Lord. And I congratulate you on the success of your show, because people love Thank your you. show. And they oh, just, just wrap it up. That's what you, that but is. I know him better than I know you. And... When they read a line, he doesn't exactly get phased. He doesn't read lines. He gives lines. And I believe strongly. I think he's fucking with his uh, pronouns here. But I think the he who doesn't read lines, he gives lines, is Xi Jinping in this. Which is just like, fuck. And? That he made a threat, actually, to Biden. And that wasn't reported. So we should get a tape. <laughs> just... Yeah, just that we should get a tape of it. We should assume that he made a threat at Biden. Should we, should we now? Just assume that he made, he threatened Biden. With what? Forming a new petrodollar with Russia and Iran? Go for it. Of the call, just like we did with my perfect call to the president of Ukraine, which is the reason I like him so much, one reason. And now he's proven to be... Because he stood up for me with that call. He said Trump did nothing wrong. He didn't threaten me. He didn't threaten me. He could have gone the other way. 
Yeah, because he didn't know how the election was going to go. And if he had come out and said, this motherfucker, and you won, or you managed to take the place January 6th or, or January 20th or some shit like that, he didn't know. That's a total possibility. Look where he is. Look what he's up against. Of course he believes it's possible that we our government could be toppled. And he would have been stuck between two like would-be strong men, like assholes with low self-esteem. Got woke like guys like Bill do Barr you, do. Do you respect Putin? He's gotten woke. Do you respect Putin? Well, he's a different person. I'll tell you something. I got along with him. And uh, look, I got along with him loving this country. And he, he loves his country, okay? But he's a different person than he was. He seems to be different. He, uh, yes, he's yeah, he, he, he changed. I, uh, you know, it couldn't have been that he was playing me the entire time. And I'm a, a gullible, uh, would-be autocrat who wishes I had the power that he had. I, it couldn't be that I'm an absolute fucking sucker. No, not at all. It's uh, It's got to be that he changed. That Vladimir Putin, who's been a KGB agent and was put in charge of Russia in 99 and has been clamoring for reuni reunification, including Georgia and Ukraine and all these places, the entire fucking time he's been in office, he changed. It's a change. I, I don't know. Uh, Otherwise, someone would have warned me about this at umpteen uh, presidential daily briefings where they... Oh, they did. That's right. They did constantly. Is he sane? He looks is, different. Is he, he uh, is different. He, is he, is he, he's is he's he a solid? different person. He, he, he looks different. He's a different person. He's probably... This is... Oh, by the way, there is no fucking way... Listen to this last little bit. Hold on. I have to, I have to play this. Let, let, listen to this last little bit right here. He's a different person. Watch this. Okay, okay. But he's a different person than he was. He seems to be different. He uh, is he is he sane? He looks is, is he, he uh, looks is he is he is he's, is he's he a solid different person mentally? It just doesn't seem to be the same person I was dealing with. I All right. So that just just so you know, QAnon on Telegram and all these other sites will absolutely take that little piece as Trump telling you that he's that Putin's got, like been replaced with a clone, is doing saying some shit, maybe overreaching, but the real Putin and the real Trump are running around Ukraine saving children from the baby eating Zelensky clan. Like that for fucking sake. That honestly, honestly, there is there is no way that won't show up as a clip in the Ukraine in, in the uh in the QAnon crowd. Seriously. I mean, remember, and, and if those of you that doubt me, these are the same people who believe that at the last rally and the one before, uh, it was not actually Trump speaking. It was JFK, not Junior, the original one, speaking while wearing a Trump skin. And that's why he screwed up so much, because he was still recovering from being dead for 50 some odd years and having a hole in his head. You know, we had a... A decent relationship. I, we, it was very hard because of the Russia hoax, you know. It was very hard. It was very hard. When he, his relationship was uh, very, very hard. Moon River. And I told him, I said, you know, it's very hard for me to do anything for Russia and for you to do anything because these horrible, yeah. horrible people that are, you know, horrible. perpetrating this hoax. The Russia, Russia, Russia. Oh, it's, oh, it's terrible. He could, he wasn't able to do anything for Russia when he was trying. He thought he'd be able to get. I mean, honestly, when you got me this job, I thought I could actually do it. But then, you know, I ran into a little. I know he can get the job, but can he do the job? Yeah, I just had a. You know, I really want to do that for you, but there's this whole thing about the Congress and the law. And like I say stuff and people leave the room to and tell me they're going to go do it. And then two hours later, they come back in and go, I can't do that. That's illegal. And I go, go do it anyways. And they go, D no, I mean, someone else has to do it. I, I just tell them to do it. And then they go, I can't do that. That's illegal. Well, tell that person to do it. But they won't. Why? Because it's illegal. Who is that person? I don't know. Some deep state asshole. 
collusion nonsense. It, millions of phone calls. I never made one oh. to Russia. Think of it. Millions of calls. They went through the phone records. Millions of calls. I never made one to Russia. So, so I guess you didn't have to. That's why Don Jr. or Eric said you get most of your money from Russia. You get all the money. You don't even need American banks anymore. Yeah. So that would be weird. I'm dead serious. It's actually weirder if there are no phone calls. Because we know that this asshole, yeah, besides using a burner and all that kind of stuff. Millions of calls, whatever the fuck that means. But it's even weirder considering that they did the uh, Miss Universe or whatever it was there. Uh, that he, they took, his kids took multiple trips there. Ivanka took trips there. Um they were going to build this Trump Tower Moscow thing. The whole... Hold on one second. This was actually on the table. Wasn't like... Um, there you go. Felix Sater was arranging this thing. Um... So he he coordinated, by the way, part, partly because other people were taking the fucking phone calls for him or doing that for him. But it, it's a bit weird that there are no phone calls because there should have been a few unless you were trying to hide them. You know what I mean? It's even more suspicious that there are no calls considering how much business they did there. It's literally as though he just tried to make it like hide everything under the table. Millions of calls, not one call to Russia. Well, it was a total hoax. It's come out. And by the way, Trump has not made millions of calls in his life. Fuck off with that nonsense. Durham report. I look forward to seeing more and more of it. I wish it could go faster. Okay. But uh, I look forward to seeing more and more of it. But can I, I will say this. We did well with Russia. They didn't attack any any countries under us. I'm the only one where that didn't happen. And with Bush, they took... First of all, uh, you gave Russia a heads up. This asshole gave Russia a heads up when we were going to bomb an airfield so they could get out of the way. We only bombed the part they weren't using. Two empty buildings and an airstrip that's too short for them to use. And then when we left, we gave them three of our bases. Tell you what, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do this bullshit bombing thing just so I can say I did it. You guys get your stuff out of the way, and then I'll give you these other three bases because we're not going to stick around. You can have it. George, that, I mean, honestly, that's the, that's the fucking deal. And they took Crimea with Biden and Obama, and now he said, to hell with it. Let's take the whole... By the way, they were constantly shelling and fighting in the eastern part of Ukraine, always. They were trying to salami slice their way across the entire time. And, and with with Trump's help, stiff arming Zelensky, not giving him a White House visit, uh, trying to shame and shut down NATO, taking ten thousand troops out of Germany. But even uh, Sleepy Eyes Chuck Todd on NBC said the other day when he was interviewing, I think yes, e even that bastion of liberal thought, that uh, the anchor, the 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 Noam Chomsky for a new generation, Chuck Todd. Was Blinken, he said, how come this never happened under Trump? China didn't do anything. Russia didn't do it. Nobody did anything. They didn't do anything. They didn't have to do anything. And by the way, according to this asshole, China hit us with a bioweapon on purpose during his presidency and killed more Americans than died in the Civil War. In fact, and we got along with North Korea. Hmm. You know, how come none of this stuff happened under Trump? And someday you and I will sit down and I'll tell you why. Former president. You can't, sorry, you can't have him on the fucking show for that reason. By the way, there's a second part to this. There's a part two. You're watching House Sparks Mega Worldwide. Long form clips because somebody's got to do it. Like and subscribe, give a thumbs up, support the show in any way you can or not at all. Um, and welcome trolls one and all. Um, and to you, I say, thanks for being here. You help us with the algorithm. There is no Hunter Biden laptop. I'm sorry you've been told otherwise. And Trump 
is a moron. I don't know why you put all your faith in him. I don't know why you think he's representative of your conservative values. But that's not my problem. That's your problem. You have to explain that to you. Because I don't get it. None of us here do. Where I, Everyone in the chat is completely... It, it boggles the mind. How a dude who clearly has paid for multiple abortions is your anti-abortion hero. And without being some sort of like having some sort of revival tent preacher, you know, awakening about it. Because he fucking would today if he had another chance. I mean, you know it. Come on. Go find somebody that represents your values and run them. Quit this whole like, well, he could win. Who cares if he's buddies with Putin? I don't care. America schmerica. I'm moving out. 